Marseille, Encore, Las Vegas, apparently the creme de la creme of Vegas hotels. I already think that Wynn is the best hotel in Vegas, but apparently Encore, its sibling, is even better. Apparently it's cooler, classier, modern, and more upscale than Wynn. Is that even possible? We're gonna find out. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Encore, Las Vegas. So I'm here for three full nights and my plan is to eat at the best restaurants, find the coolest drinks, spend a ton of time at the amazing pool on site, and it all begins with a tour of my King Panoramic Suite on the 62nd floor. Let's go check it out. Let's do a very brief initial room rundown. There is so much to unpack in this room. I'm going to make a separate in-depth room tour. And there are major differences between the Encore Tower and the Wind Tower, specifically in the rooms. One is more expensive, one offers more features. If you wanna know more about that, make sure you check out my in-depth room tour in a separate video. So stepping into the bathroom and really high ceilings, gold everywhere. Gold is such a regal color. Gold around the TV, gold around the mirror, gold lamps, gold picture frames, gold, gold, gold. So that's the bathroom, but let's get to the most important part of this room, the bedroom and then the entertainment area. These beds are the best beds in Vegas. Just Google it. They have won awards. It's even on the Wikipedia page. Everyone talks and raves about these beds, including myself. I rate this the number one bed in Vegas. It is just so luxurious, so comfortable, so perfect. You have a full length mirrored wall in your bedroom. And then you also have a full length mirrored wall in your living room, which just helps keep the room really nice, bright and fresh. And to complement that, you have floor to ceiling windows. Okay, finishing up in this room, you have an Alexa. You can see that her lights lit up when I said her name, she likes that. And that will control all the major functions of this room. You can turn your lights on and off, drapes open and shut, temperature up and down, and basically all the main functions of the room. So that is it for my initial room rundown, but this video isn't close to being over. I'm gonna eat at the three best restaurants on site. I'm gonna hopefully go to some bars, check out the coolest drinks. I have a lot to do over these three days. The only question is, where am I going to start?
Alexa, open drapes. Double coconut type of day. I'm not gonna drink these in front of you because I have so much to tell you about. Last night was so epic. I called this the most epic Vegas trip ever. And it did start the best, but things really hit stride at Mirage, then Vidara, and now here at Encore. Wow, last night, wow. So let me get right into it. I ate at Lakeside, and Lakeside is a Hawaiian seafood place. Not just a seafood place, but a Hawaiian seafood place. The fish is flown in daily, that's what I'm told, from Hawaii. The restaurant is beautifully decorated. It has an aesthetic that really can't be compared to anything else in Vegas. And if you don't want to eat inside, you can eat outside and watch the Lake of Dreams show. So let's talk about what I did after dinner, which is probably even cooler than my dinner, which is hard to think of, but it really was. So I went to Parasol Down. There are two bars here called Parasol. There's Parasol Down and Parasol Up. I'm going to try to go to Parasol Up tonight, but Parasol Down, wow. It's right across from the Lake of Dreams show, so you have views to that show, which goes off every half hour. It is such a spectacular sight to see. If you're looking for an upscale, classy, energetic, fun place to have a drink pre or post dinner, maybe you're looking to intermix with the crowd, meet somebody, this place checks off all the boxes. I had such a phenomenal time. And did I mention the Lake of Dreams show goes off every half hour right behind you? If you don't wanna pay for the show or if you do not want to eat at one of the restaurants in order to see it, just go to Parasol Down, get yourself a seat, and watch one of the best sights and attractions in Vegas. And then tonight, I'm thinking SW Steakhouse. I'll check in later and let you know what I decided to do, but I think it's only right that I do it because I want the lakeside, which is next door, last night. So tonight, why not check off SW Steakhouse, arguably the best steakhouse in Vegas. It is up there with anyone. If it's not the best, it's probably like second or third best. It is that amazing. last day here at Encore. I feel like I've been here for a week. This place is so sensational and so intoxicating and so stimulating. I feel like I've been here for six days, but it's only day number three. I still have 33% of my trip left. Uh, I'm up, it's 10 a.m. I was actually up before this, and anytime you're up before noon in Vegas, that is a win. So yeah, I did some push-ups because I'm planning on going to the pool. You gotta be show ready for the pool at all times. My plan is to go to both pools, that's my plan. Uh, the regular pool and then the 21 plus European pool. No videos at that pool for a specific reason. You probably know what I'm talking about. If not, I'll tell you later. Last night, let me talk about this very quickly. I went to SW Steakhouse. I think it's the best steakhouse in Vegas. Am I saying it's the best steak in Vegas? Actually, maybe. It may be. I just did have a phenomenal steak at New York, New York randomly. I forget the name of that place already. But if you want to talk about ambiance, crowd, cool, coolness, class, just everything elemented into one. Wow, this place is so amazing. I had a three and a half hour dinner there last night. Uh, the steak was out of this world. I can't recommend it enough. If you are staying at Encore or Win, make sure you get to SW Steakhouse. So after dinner, I went to Parasol Up. I was at Parasol Down the other night, so I wanted to make sure I went to Parasol Up. Basically, one is an upstairs bar, one is a downstairs bar. It's the same menu, okay? It's the same bar menu, same small bites menu. I like Parasol Down better, better crowd, better energy, just uh, just a better flow of people. Uh, you can meet people before dinner, meet people after dinner. It was the better place of the two, and plus it had a better view of the Lake of Dreams show. After Parasol Up, I strolled over to the high stakes slot room. This place is just beyond gorgeous, beyond opulent, beyond ostentatious. Yes, I just used the word ostentatious. It is the classiest high stakes slot room I've ever seen, but here's the deal. Limited number of slots. I think there were only maybe nine or 12, and they're way out of my league, at least in terms of gambling. I think they started at 25 and went up to 500. I'm not putting in $500 a pull. I'm definitely not even doing $25 a pull because I have a penchant for losing on slots. But if you wanna play high stakes slots at Encore, bring a bankroll because it is an expensive endeavor.
Alexa, turn on lights. That is the best feature in this room. And that's a big statement because this room is jam packed with tons of elite upscale luxury features. The Alexa integration, Alexa open drapes is the coolest. It's so convenient. It really makes this room stand out. Okay, so it's my last night here in Vegas. What I should be doing is ordering room service and staying in here and video editing, but I'm at Encore. It's the weekend, we're gonna go out. Before I talk about what I'm going to do tonight, I wanna talk about what I did today. I went to the pool and I saved the pool until Sunday for a reason, number one, it's a quieter crowd and I wanted something to look forward to on my third day. Not that SW Steakhouse and Parasol Up and Down and Lakeside weren't amazing, they were, but I knew the pool was gonna be something spectacular, and it was. There were two pools, there was a family pool and then there was a 21 plus European pool. Um, I'll talk about that in a second, that's where I spent all of my time. But the family pool was pretty amazing within itself. Quiet, not that many children, not that many families. This really isn't a family hotel, and I'll touch on that later in this video. If you don't want to go to the 21 plus European pool, you could definitely spend time at the standard pool and have a phenomenal afternoon. So I chose to spend the majority of my time at the 21 plus European pool. For those of you that are not initiated, European means uh, tops are optional for the ladies. However, I must say this in full disclosure, I didn't see anyone practicing uh, European sunbathing, which actually doesn't bother me. Call me classical, call me old school, call me traditional, but I think that belongs behind closed doors. I don't know, maybe I'll change my tune after I spend more time on European beaches. However, if you are concerned about tan lines, that is an option for you. And regardless of that, it is the chiller, upscale, classy place to be. It was ultra quiet, beautiful crowd, great crowd, friendly crowd. The service was impeccable. There was great music going on. There was a bar there that overlooked the entire pool. They had excellent blended drinks. The bar had a great menu. You could also order that menu at your seat. It was just an overall fantastic late morning and early afternoon. I spent three and a half hours there. I had three drinks. And that is the reason that I missed my reservation tonight at Mizumi. Yeah, I missed it. And plus, I had to go to the gym because after that hardcore liquid diet of a pina colada, a Mai Tai, and then a strawberry mojito, uh, I chose to go to the gym and keep my sanity, and that way I was able to salvage my evening. So for tonight, I have two options. I'm thinking either Wazuzu, which is an Asian fusion place. They do Chinese, Japanese, and Thai. That sounds really good. Or also, I might do the lobby bar. The lobby bar is right next to the lobby, right next to the guest elevators, hence the name and they look to have some scrumptious cocktails and some really nice small bites. I'm not sure which one, maybe I'll do both. got feeling amazing, I have a ton of energy, I feel marvelous, and it has everything to do with this phenomenal hotel and amazing experience. Before I get to the room, the property, my rating, I wanna talk about what I did yesterday. So yesterday, I went to the pool, went to the gym, missed my reservation at Mizumi, which I talked about, and then had to decide between Wazuzu and Lobby Bar. And it was an easy decision because Wazuzu didn't have any bar seating. I don't have any issue going out alone. That's part of my modus operandi, that's just what I do. But I do feel a little uncomfortable still dining table for one. I don't like sitting down and being waited on. If I do go out, I like to sit at the bar. And Wazuzu didn't have a bar, so it was an easy decision to go to the lobby bar, right by the guest elevators, right by the lobby. Lobby bar had some very interesting cocktails and some great small bites. The small bites are what I'm going to talk about because those were the standout. I had a black truffle grilled cheese with tomato soup, phenomenal. And then the best dish of the night were the chicken sliders. I see sliders on menus all the time, but rarely do I see fried chicken sliders. They had barbecue sauce, they had coleslaw. That is the dish to order if you go to Lobby Bar. So of course I need to rate this property, but before I do so, let me give you the highlights on this room. What were my favorite parts? Everything everything the palatial bathroom with gold everywhere the amazingly comfortable bed that's the best in vegas the 62nd floor panoramic view 
the Alexa integration, this huge spacious entertainment living room. Everything in this room was completely excellent. I couldn't ask for anything more in a standard suite in Vegas. Okay, let's move on to the property. Who is this property for? This property is for anyone that wants the best. That's it. So if you want the best, come here to Encore. If you are a couple, if you are a group, if you are a discerning traveler, no matter who you are, if you want the best, come to Encore because it's going to deliver. I touched on this just a little earlier. If you're a family wanting the best, this place is going to deliver, but it isn't family friendly because it's so expensive and so extravagant. There isn't a lot to do here for kids and there isn't a lot of casual stuff to do. So if you're looking for casual food, casual entertainment or casual attractions, you're not gonna find it here at Encore or Wynn. And that's why I didn't see a ton of families here. But if you are wondering if the Wynn and Encore is a family destination, it certainly is not. So how do I rate this property? It's the easiest, no brainer, simple decision I've ever made on this channel. If Wynn is the coolest, then Encore has to be the coolest. It's a six out of six. I'm running out of words to describe this place, but it is the pinnacle of hotel stays here in Vegas. Every single component of this hotel delivered and it delivered impeccably. From the fine dining, to the drinks, to the room, to the service, to the overall experience, everything was pretty much just perfect.